G'day everyone, happy new year, it's Omidex here and welcome back to another episode on this channel. I usually try to keep a balance between uploading fun formations and meta formations and I've been uploading a lot of fun formations lately, so now it's time to strictly talk about meta. And we're starting with a ratty sweaty 5-4-1 formation, weekend league ready. This setup is designed for when you want to play this formation for a full game, not when you're just trying to hold out a lead in the last couple of minutes of a match. You can see the tactics on your screen, very narrow in defense to try and keep the defending compact, and very wide in offense, because this formation is about going down the sidelines and just spamming the cutbacks. It's not supposed to be fun, it's supposed to be effective, and it is. So down to the instructions we go, your striker is on stay central and get him behind. We want to keep him in motion because we don't have too many players up top. We should use every run we can get. Now the right midfielder and the left midfielder, both are going to be on comeback on defense, cut inside, get him behind and get into the box for crosses. Yes, this formation is about spamming sideline plays and cutbacks, but these two players need to cut inside to make space for the wingbacks to overlap and take the space in the wings. Now, the two center mids, we have them both on cover center and default. Listen, we don't want to be too defensive here. This is already an ultra defensive formation. In tactics, we have the players in box on five. So these two are not going to run up like crazy. But we definitely need these two to contribute in attack. We don't want to be too isolated. And finally, both of our wing backs are on default and overlap. I don't suggest putting them on get forward because they go up way too early and they leave the build up incomplete. On balance though, they start the runs a little bit later which is perfect for doubling down on the wing when you're already in your opponent's half. And the goalie as always is on comps for crosses and default. Now let's get to some gameplay and talk about this formation, okay? Remember, they banned this formation in competitive tournaments. Every great player in this game hates playing against 5-back formations, there is a reason to that. Defensively, it's just impenetrable. You're defending with 5 defenders and 4 midfielders, so you're basically defending with 9 players and a goalkeeper, like what, what more do you want? And attacking with this formation is effortless, mindless, you don't need to do anything too complicated. Imagine a day you come back from work, you're tired, you're not feeling like sweating your ass off. 5-4-1 practically defends for you and in attack all you need to do is just run down the sidelines and look for cutbacks. And even if you are a little bit sweaty, just pop in a few German crosses here and there. Maybe crack a few player locks. Go for some green time trivellas. With this formation the sky is the limit for you. Just remember to adjust your privacy settings and disable your messages. Because you will be getting hate messages. Oh trust me you. And one final very important thing you need to know. If you intend to play this game for a full 90 minutes, if your opponent scores a goal and gets ahead of you in the game, they can just pass it in the back because you got only one striker forward and you can't press them with no one, you just got one player up top. And playing 5 for one you're gonna encounter some of those people. So I would strongly recommend having a secondary press formation, maybe a 4-2-4 or something. Just be ready for when they want to just keep the ball at the back and have a formation ready to switch to if you want to press them. You'll be needing it. So that's it for today's video, thank you everyone for watching, please leave a like if you enjoyed it and hopefully I will see you on the next one, cheers!